All right, everyone, welcome back again this, uh, to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. Got a big unboxing to do here. It's a pretty big package. I'm going to open her up. See what's inside. I'm going to start with that. Container. And some loose cards. If you can quite see that. So these were some of uh, the original disc golf cards produced between 1993 and 1996. Um, I remembered who I got the original sets from. If you watched one of my just prior videos showing all my <clears throat> um, boxed sets that included all four of them. But Royce Rosanowski don't know if I said that right, uh, was the, the gentleman that had these before, and I reached out. I, I remembered who it was, and I reached out, and I said, hey, do you have any more? I want to get an extra set for myself to open up and be able to look at the cards and see them. So, um, anyways, he had a bunch left. Well, not a bunch. He had these left. So I really only needed one of each, but um, I figured I'd take the rest, and use them to trade uh, to anyone else that wants to get some of the original cards. So um, <clears throat> if you watch the other video you'll know these but this is uh, the 1994 set um, Professional Disc Golf Association logo disc cards 1994 PDGA Tour. It's sealed with that and steady ed on the back. So I got an extra one of those I've got four of the 1996 set. These are not sealed in any way. Just uh, complete sets inside the case. So these are 1996. The three, I think, indicates the third year that they were made. Uh, I believe. I don't know that for sure. 93, 94, and then 96. So four extras of those if anyone needs one of those, does not have that in their collection. And then I got some extras here, six of the 1995-96 Hall of Fame cards. Um, these are, it, like here it says Disc Golf Hall of Fame 1993 inaugural, inaugural induction. I can't even read the rest. It's so small. But I have a feeling this pack includes everybody going back to 1993. Not positive again. I will verify that on the checklist. Just some extra cards were sitting in there. And then Royce also threw in that card from the 90 six set and I don't know what these are from um we've got it says 2019 on it Royce Rusinowski PDJ Master GM it's got some history on the back and he is PDJ number 2089 <clears throat> and then another one saying the same thing different photo and they're both numbered 10. So I might have to ask him what the uh, significance of these are. If there's another set out there that I don't know about. Um, a little, some highlights here about Royce. 
first event, American Flying Disc Open in 1975. He played in 200 plus PDGA events. Second Masters Worlds in Sweden in 85. TD Rochester Flying Disc Open, 90 or 86 to 97. <clears throat> first Japan Open Masters winner. Jim Olsen Senior Memorial Award. He's got a, lots of stuff. Undefeated in tournament play in 1995. That's a cool stat. Uh, it says here, 96 producer Disc Golf Hall of Fame disc card sets. It's actually on this card. And he was inducted to the, there's more than this, but he was inducted into the New York Disc Golf Hall of Fame with Doug Correa, Doug Opiela, Bill Newman, and Dan Doyle. Anyways, I'm going to have to see what these are about. all about. Thanks for throwing those in, Royce. And a little extra card there. And then here is the box set that he said um, whoever s I don't know if they sold him the set because he was the producer of it. But he, he mentioned somebody's name and he said that they put this box together for him. Um, I already pre-opened uh, the the Hall of Fame cards that came in that little cellophane wrapper. Um, I opened one that had a crease in it. You can see here there's some damage. Because these are really just to be on display. Um, I know that I've got, you know, a complete set that's hopefully in better shape. Um, some of these have some, some damage on them. But regardless, I just wanted to have an extra set visible. So I'm going to run through these each year. One at a time, we'll go through the set, just set the extras off there. So this is the Premier, 1993 Premier Edition. Discards, Premier Edition, 1993. Checklist is 35 cards, including the checklist. And I am going to go down the line. Looks like they are in numerical order. So one we have... Sam Ferens. Two, we have John A. Hart. Three, look at that hair. Jim Oates. Five, Jason Roberts, PDGA rookie, it says. And it looks like he's wearing a tuxedo without the jacket. <clears throat> Number six, Christian, Christian Voigt Eberly. Jeffrey Homburg, PDG Master. Jeff is the technical standards, so he's a, the one that approves baskets and discs, and I know he's got a pretty massive collection. I think he has one of every basket ever approved, which is a pretty awesome historical thing to have, I think. Uh, Dale Fritz. Riley Manderscheid, Will West, David L. Greenwell, PDGA Open Master, Terry Batten, Bob West, that is who the PDGA Memorial Sportsmanship Award is named after, Brad L. Reining Sr., there's a nice one. Ken Climo, big name from way back in the day. Still around. Not playing much competitively, but I think people are trying to get him out uh, a little more in the public these days. Nick Sartori. Greg Hosfeld. Greg is actually on my committee for the Disc Golf Foundation Matching Baskets program, so I Talked to him every once in a while and visited him in Florida. Dave Melton. Bill Davis. <clears throat> J. Gary Dropko. Drop. I think it's Dropko. Um, J. Gary was on the original board of the Disc Golf Foundation, so I've chatted with him about some of the history and before. He's a Pittsburgh guy, I believe. Stephen Coleman, Red Whittington, 
Thomas G. Lowry. Steven Rico, PDJ Prospect. Let's see. I don't know how old. PDJ 4666. He was age 14 in that photo. <laughs> wow. Some junior championships, amateur champion, juniors, M2, M1, M1. So they knew Steve Rico was going to be a a player when he was really young. Jim Olson Jr. Dan Ginnelly. He is uh, in Phoenix, I believe. Brian Henniger. Chris Hymen. John Brooks, also known as Crazy John Brooks. Look at that hair. Love it. I don't know if that's an autograph on the card. You can see here. I don't know what. It couldn't be on the background. They, they might have just superimposed it into the card. Graham Walker. Rick Vokes. Sylvia Vokes. Tom Lander. C.R. Willie. And Michael Miller. So that was the 1993 Premier Edition. Now we've got the 94 set and checklist. We got 31 cards, including the checklist. And again, look to be in order. We've got Steady Ed with no, uh, no name along the side. I think there's some significance. I think there's a card with the, the stripe down the side. John A. Hart. Rick Vokes. Sylvia Vokes. Bob Harris. Michelle Wade. Jeffrey Humberg, D. Fritz, Jim Olson Jr., Will West, Dave Greenwell and Ken Climo on the same card, V. Terry McCulley, Johnny Roberts, 1931 to 1994. Brad Reining Jr., young, began golfing in 1992, was the Huntington Beach Disc Golf Championship. He took third in 1993. Hmm. 7593. Looks really young in that photo, though. There's Ken Climo on his own. Nick Sartori. Graham Walker. Stan the Man McDaniel. That looks like an autograph, also. Don't know if. Must have been released or something. Unless the, the person who put these together had the had the autos put on or had them sign it. Mad Max Hilgers. J. J. Gary Dropko. Stephen Coleman. Royce Rosnowski. Paul Harris. Hartmut Warman. I think I got that right. Bob Wademan Jr. Glenn Whitlock. Jeff Homburg again. Jim Edwards. 
cool old in of a bar stamp in the background and that banner. Greg Hosfeld, big hair, and Urs Hanty. Don't know that name. 3293 from Switzerland. So that was the 1994 set. Now this is the damage set that I told you about. It's the 19... 95-96 Hall of Fame trading card set. So we've got... Yep, so this has it broken down by year. 1993, I don't know if this is an error, 1994. And then again it says 1994. So I don't know what's going on there. But it could be 95. Could have all been put in at once, but I don't know why they would designate it separately. Uh, so 1993, I'll leave that. We've got Vanessa Chambers, Dave Dunapace, Ed Hedrick, there's the stripe with the same image. Tom Monroe, as I mentioned before when I did these sets, uh, the box sets, he's having some health issues if you can find the GoFundMe. I shared it myself, made a contribution. In fact, I told Rice I would make a contribution out of thanks for him and uh, his generosity in sending me these cards at a pretty pretty good price for how old they are. And also um, the fact that I... Um, was able to stay with LeVon Wolf while I was on a road trip this winter on my way home and he was very generous giving me all sorts of cool collectibles so kind of both of those guys are pioneers alongside of Tom Monroe so please reach out and support that GoFundMe if you can you could use the help Jim Palmieri Dan Roddick Ted Smethers Harold Duvall, Nobuya Kobayashi, Daryl Lynn, Doug Newland, Dan Mangione, kind of nice, cool old proto star ram in the background there, Frisbee Pies, Snapper Pearson. There's Levon Wolf there. Ken Climo. I'll point this out. It says 95 here. So there is an error on the card um, with the two 94s. If you look at Levon's, it says 94 down here in the corner in that basket. So just a printing error, a typo. Ken Climo. John David. David Greenwell, Johnny Roberts, and Rick Vokes. So those are the 93, 94, and 95 Hall of Fame inductees. And then we're going to go lastly to the 1996 set designated by this card. This is the checklist. 24 cards, including the checklist. We've got the Huntington Beach Disc Golf Team. Michelle Wade, Alex Feld, Feldy, Tom Hughes, Paul Harris, Tom Clickner, Eric Taylor, John Ahart, Scott Lavalley, Chris Brophy, Will West, Steve Killian, Phil Ganshert, and Jason Roberts. And we got Marcus Cisneros, Graham Walker. Not sure why some of these are don't have the green uh, green line down them, but uh, Rudy Fernandez, Ray Carr, John Kimball. 
Juliana Bauer, oh, now known as Corver. So those actually say 95 slash 96, where the green ones say 96. So that's interesting designation. Timmy Gill, young guy from Minnesota there. He died on born the same year as me. John A. Hart. Ken Climo. Will Maxim. Tom Klickner. Paul Harris. Don Olau. I think Don Don passed away a couple of years ago or a year yeah, at least a couple of years ago. He was one of the first names I ever knew for being over a thousand courses. I think he was up there pretty high. Jeff Homburg. Ors hand key again. Paul France, F R A N C Z, Bob Dodge, Amy Rosenthal, Will West, Tawny, must have been in the Rose Bowl. I don't know. Rescued from the pound at eight weeks old. Tawny is a natural athlete who loves to run fast and play chase. Her favorite game is catching frisbees. All right. Royce Rasnowski. And again, J. Gary Dropko. Drop. Drop. I'll figure it out one of, one of these days. So those are the four original disc golf card sets pretty cool pieces of history there I'm gonna keep my sealed ones sealed forever but I have now a box of all of them that I can look at and again I've got some extras if you need if you these are part of the what you want in your collection, I've got them. Uh, let me know and we can work out a trade. Um, definitely looking for any new card that I don't have. And I'll just touch base again real quick on this one that I don't know where these cards were from. So if you know anything about them, let me know. I'm gonna follow up with Royce too, but I don't believe those are on um, the spreadsheet that Daniel Mears put together. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up, and I am now going to start moving into the Topps Allen & Ginter set from 2010 that had Avery Jenkins, and then going chronologically up, towards 2023 where we've got Val Jenkins, we've got Paul Macbeth, we've got Greg Barsby, we've got Climo, we've got, um, that's most of what I have in those cards. And then there's a few random um, manufacturers that kind of homemade stuff. Uh, some of it's pretty quality, some of it wasn't, but I'm going to move into those and show you what I have the rest of my collection. So thanks for watching again. Everybody like, share, and subscribe as you see fit. And please leave a comment in the videos if you have any questions you want to make, um, get together for a trade or anything like that. Um, that's it. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.